friends, we now invite you to join us for the Animation Academy. Please welcome your sketch artist, Michael Montgomery. Hey. How are you doing, friends? Oh my goodness. I'm going to come out here so I can see everybody, but we're still six feet apart. All right, hey, good afternoon. My name is Michael Montgomery. I am so pleased to see you here at the Epcot International Festival of the Art. Uh, also, Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration. Cool. You here for the 50th specifically, right? See the new castle? Looks great. Um, I have been involved with the Walt Disney Company for about 26 years this month. I came up from Columbus, Ohio, from the cold weather down to this mild weather. And uh, first time I wore shorts in January, my whole life it was awesome. Uh, and uh, I started in feature animation when my first film was Hercules, and then I moved on to Mulan, and then Middle and Stitch, and Brother Bear, uh, Tarzan, uh, Emperor's New Groove, and so while I'm here, I'm showing all of you characters that I've uh, helped work on and have a lot of, you know, love for. And uh, I brought out my original, one of the kind, Mulan crew jacket. This is 27, 25 years old, 1998 is when we finished that film. And so in Mulan, um, I was a special effects animator. So the avalanche of Mulan was on my desk, and then there was all the fire and smoke and fireworks and all kinds of stuff. But a lot of snow, did a lot of snow in that film. But my favorite character was Mushu. Mushu was fantastic. He is just such a riot. And so let us all, we're, I'm, now, I'm, I'm gonna keep you just a little bit longer than traditionally because he's a really complex character. He's got a lot of things going on. He's got a lot of snout, I'll explain it to you. But let's do the powerful, the pleasurable, the indestructible Mushu. Okay, here we go. Now, try not to put his long face on this page. We don't want to start with a circle in the middle. We want, but we don't want to push him all the way to the side because he's got these long ears and these horns too. So we want to kind of imagine the middle of your paper and then we want to imagine halfway between that. And in between that halfway and that middle is where we want to put an oval at a little bit of an angle. Something like that. We're going to draw lightly. We really want to draw lightly because Mushu's face has a lot of overlapping shapes. And if you draw too heavy, when we get to the teeth, you're like, oh, I'm over the tongue and the lips and the whole thing. So we're just going to start with an oval. Real light. I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a little bit darker so it shows up on the screen. And you'll notice I'm using a blue pencil. And that's because when we were in animation, we'd either pick a blue or a red pencil. And we do our rough drawing and then our cleanup drawing, we do a black pencil. All right, so I have that. And now I'm going to split this oval on the long side. So think about cutting a baked potato in half on the long side. So I'm going to cut it in like that. All right. Now, as I draw, I'm going to make a lot of comments and a lot of uh, uh, marks, little tiny dots all over, because I like to connect my shapes. And it's a really good thing to kind of know where you're going and then connect and flow into the last shape. All right, so I'm gonna take the shape here of, this is basically Mushu's uh, eyeballs in this area, and then I'm gonna measure over, and I'm gonna come over the distance of his head, and I'm gonna make a mark kind of out here. So right here to here, somewhere in there. Draw lightly, because this next shape is kind of weird. It's, it's probably one, it's the, one of the two weirdest shapes you're gonna draw. And that is, it's kind of like a duck bill. So I'm going to come from that shape now over here on the on the oval. Down here, I'm going to make a little mark right about there. Splitting the oval bigger on the top, about one third on the bottom, right about there. So now I'm going to make what I like to call an S curve. And it's not this. It's not making the letter S. It's, it's skinny, nice, nice and gentle. I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to come down, and then I'm going to start to come up again, and I'm going to end right there. There you go. Just like that. Now, on the oval, right here, I'm going to make a very light line that separates this out over here. Kind of one-third on the right side and two-thirds on the left side. And then I'm going to make, remember this mark, remember that guy? I'm going to come around, and 
and a little mark right there. So now I've broken up, if you think about it like a 3D sphere, he's in eight quadrants. He's got the back four and these front four that you can see a little mark right there. Okay. Yep, perfect. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down and just watch this shape. Watch this shape. It's a, it's a bowl, and then it's an S-curve, and it ends into that dot. So it kind of looks like a funny duck when you get there. All right? Cool. All right. Now what we're going to do is, from the end of his nose, now I'm going to put my pinky knuckle on that dot. This is how I do it. I'm going to put my pinky knuckle on that dot that I ended on. And then I'm going to put my pencil on here, and I'm going to use just the curve of my wrist and make a nice arch line. And that's this is just a guideline. This is nothing. This like you're never going to see this. This is like draw really lightly, but I do that. And the reason I'm doing that is Mushu's bottom jaw. We're going to have his mouth open, and so you want to feel like when his mouth can close that it would actually meet up with the top. If you drew it out here, you know, like, oh, oh, oh. maybe you're like, oh, oh. so you want to make sure right there. So I draw that line as a guide for me, and then, thinking in three-dimensional space, there's a, uh, is the other side of the smile is over here somewhere. And so I'm gonna draw a, a, a non-existing line, and then when I pick it up, I'm gonna come down here and draw an arc, kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe a little higher. That's why we draw lightly, so we can kind of find our shape. There we go, something like that. So, one of my friends backstage, he saw my notes, and he just laughed at this next part. So, what I like to call this next shape is the miso soup spoon shape. So, if anyone's ever had miso soup, that funny spoon, check this out. So, we're going to come down, and we're going to make the soup spoon, and then we're going to come up, and we're going to come to the bottom of the egg shape there. There we go. And so later on, if I'm walking around the park, I want to hear people going, miso soup spoon, miso soup spoon, miso soup spoon. There we go. All right. So now Mushu is really starting to kind of find himself on the paper. All right. Now, I'm just going to do a little thing here. I'm going to take that curve that we just did. I'm going to continue it on a little bit. And I'm going to start to just break in his neck. Just not break his neck, but break in his neck, block in his neck. And then just above that, about just above where that smile dot is, I'm going to continue his, his uh, dragon lizard size neck up there. Okay, there we got Mushu's neck now. And again, that's all important because when we get into the fine details, these are going to help you gauge where to put things. All right, let's work on his nose. His nose is a fun shape. So his nose comes back up under this, which is his top lip. It's gonna come up. It's going to be about, a little, not as tall, but almost as tall as his head. And it's this shape here where it's a really round triangle. And it doesn't go all the way down, it stops right about halfway, there we go, just like that, and then his nose is a different color, so we can call that a closed off shape. Now this is again why I said draw really lightly, because you know we're drawing over those construction lines, I'm drawing darker so you guys can see it, but yeah, let me see when we clean up that nose. Okay, now let's take his nose, let's just finish off his nose, so we'll take his nose, and come, come start at the top, and then draw me a curve, a very light, very light. We're not going to see this line. This is a very just a construction line, so we can kind of find the middle. So just a little curve, just like that, just so we know where we're at. And then Mulan was uh, in the art direction of Mulan. It's supposed to feel like an ancient Chinese print painting, really flat. That's why there's not a lot of tones and shadows on the character. It's really nice and flat. So Mushu has this Chinese element design element to his nose, which is, these are just lines, and 
it comes up, and that's why we made the center line, because it comes up, kind of follows center, curves, just a tiny curve, comes down, tiny curve again, and then comes over, but does not meet the, the line that we started with. So it's a shape like that. And then if we think about how things look with perspective when they're curving, on the opposite side of this nose, we're going to come up, make that little curve. And it's okay if it starts to get real close to the edge of his nose, and then it curls up, just like that. All right. So that's Mushu's nose. His snout has a little detail, we'll just knock in real quick. It's right in the middle. It's from the dot to his nose, is this little curve, and then it's like a flap of, a flap of muscle. It just, and I just make this kind of rolling little hill. And, you know, something like that, right in the middle. All right, that's, believe it or not, there's still more to go on his nose, but we'll get, we'll get that on later. Let's get, let's work on his eyes. Okay, so his eyes are real big, real big. So the line that we made here, this construction line, and then this construction line, this quadrant, is going to become a nice oval. Like so. Try to maintain that angle, nice round shapes, nice and light, and we'll clean it up in a minute. Right. Now his other eye is equally as big, but it's, you know, because of perspective, he lives behind this eye. So we're gonna pop that in real quick. And that's kind of like following the first eye, but you have to think that it's tucked in behind that. All right. Now, while we're here, just so we can get some direction, I'm gonna give him his pupils. He's got good-sized pupils. They're not huge, but they're not dots. And live right about there. Since we're at such a perspective, he's kind of peering over at you. And then you can see here that I'm kind of living a little bit past center in both directions, a little bit to the right and a little bit down. You got Nushi's eyes. His eyelashes are just a thicker shape at the top, kind of like a triangle that follows the curve. Up, up, like that. And then the other guy, same direction. Start at the top, work the way down. There you go. All right. Let's see, where should we go next? Let's go with his eyebrows. So his eyebrows, I'm going to take the eye that's in the back, about right here, about three quarters of the way up the eye, what I like to call roller coaster hills. I'm just going to come up. Mushu's got a lot of angles. And I think people think, oh, he's got fur. No, it's actually scales. And so we're going to come up and down in these kind of triangle, soft triangles. Mushu has a lot of soft triangles. You'll know what I mean when we get to his teeth. Like, how many soft triangles are there? And his other eye comes up there, just like that. There you go. He's very happy. All right. Speaking of happy, let's work on that smile now. So while we're up at the eye, I'm going to give him his cheekbone, which we'll start at the bottom where we had here, and another one of these S curves. We're going to do the bowl of the S down here and then the top of the S up here. So we kind of get that shape going. Nice and smooth. And then, up on his eye, we're gonna cut into his eye a little bit. So, you, you know, if I drew a ball here, you can kind of get the sense that that's his cheek muscle, right? There's a lot of anatomy study that us as artists and animation artists do, so we know how things work, even if they're fantasy. They're grounded in some type of reality. And then to finish off the eye, we're just going to give him a little, little eye line here. He's like a thousand years old, so he's got a wrinkle or two. Okay, so there's that. Down now, back down to the smile. 
we're going to come take the miso, the miso soup spoon. And I'm going to define that line a little bit. I'm going to come on to, oh, I'm not going to touch the edge. I'm not going to touch this line. I'm not going to touch this line. I'm going to kind of put a line right here. And I'm going to make, if you remember, a miso soup spoon is really deep. So we're going to go high on the bowl up here. And then it's a gentle S curve that gets close to this line. It doesn't touch it. And then we're going to aim right where we went before. There we go. Oh, he's so cool. He's a fun character. Okay. So there's his smile. His lip, his scale of his lip comes out just past that curve that I made as a guide. And here's another rounded triangle. And it kind of lays flat. draw the tongue. And the reason I want to start with the tongue is because once I get the teeth in there, it's going to be all this overlap. So I'm going to just put in these two hills. And everyone knows that Mushu likes to talk a lot. So he's got a big tongue. I'm just going to block that in. I'm not going to touch it anymore. And then I'm going to now start on his front row of his bottom teeth. And here we have, we're going to start at that where I ended. We're going to make, you know, about halfway up a rounded triangle. And then we're going to get a little bit smaller and a little bit wider as we work our way back in his mouth. So a little bit smaller, a little bit wider, a little bit smaller, a little bit wider, a little bit smaller, a little bit wider, and a little bit smaller, and a little bit wider. And so then that also helps with some roundness. All right, but see, I already went over my tongue. That's why. Now, the front or the lower teeth, but in the back, are over here. And it's just two of them there. And then a little bit smaller and a little bit wider. Just like that. And then actually, then you can take the line from the last one and just kind of cut it across. Just like that. So you've got kind of like two mountain peaks. There we go, just like that. All right, his upper teeth, he's got a few, just a few here. We'll just do one that kind of, always think about teeth that so when he closes them, you know, they're not doing tip to tip, they're off center. So we're just gonna hide a couple teeth up under there, just like that. There we go. All right. I'm sure you guys are doing fantastic. This guy is really complex. So, let's now pull away from here for a minute and let's break in his, uh, the rest of his uh, cheek scales and his ears. So the cheek scales are three triangles, two small, one big, and they, they, they don't touch any lines. They kind of float where this head is right here. Some parts in the movie he does, but some parts in the movie, you know, they just kind of float and, and you let the line work do the, uh, do the heavy lifting. So I'm gonna make this big triangle in the middle. It kind of can look like a simplified king's crown, if that helps anybody. And then, then this bottom line is actually going to taper and fade away under his smile, just like that. There we go. Now his ear. His ear is actually a cow's ear. And so we're gonna make a, this is why we needed the page. We're gonna come from the middle of his head that's still exposed back here. We're gonna make a, a gentle smile, a little nice gentle curve. And then we're gonna make a bow or like turn a D on its side. And we're gonna connect up to that, just like that. But then we're gonna come out a little bit that's actually the top flap. His bottom flap comes in like this, comes down lower. He has a chop in his ear right there, which is just represented by an oval that doesn't connect. And then that's a mushu ear. Okay. 
Then he's got horns. And then the horns are long, skinny ovals, and then a baby oval that's long and skinny. But they, they connect here, but we don't finish the oval. We just do something kind of like that. And then we come up and do it again on this side. And, and make sure when you do that second one that's further away that it's not, you know, bigger. You, know, you try to keep the same size. Just tuck the way behind his head. Okay. So we got his, let's see, now on the other side of his face, we're going to put in the scales that we did by his mouth, but they kind of stick out over here. So it's the same shape. It's a little easier to draw if you're right-handed because he's... There, I wouldn't even know if it's easy for a left-handed person. I, I know a few left-handed artists, and it's just—they're just amazing. I don't know how they do it. All right, so the scales are over there. So the last few things we have to do here to finish up Nushu is he's got a mustache. So remember that center line that I had you put lightly into his nose? There's another reason for that. It also helps split his face. So. The mustache that's on this side of his face is going to go this way, away from his face, and it's just a couple little sharp triangles. Right? And then the mustache on this side of his face goes this way. And it's, a, it's they're bigger because they're closer to you. So you want to, it's kind of like a saw blade. I'm going to get that in there just like that. See, I'm like having to turn my body like this because as animators, we have an animation disc and we can spin the artwork and uh, get a comfortable position. Uh, you have the pleasure of being able to spin your clipboard there. Okay, so the last thing to make Mushu Mushu is we're going to come up somewhere about halfway between his nose and his top lip. We're going to make something a little bit smaller than a dime. And here's where you get to have fun. Because this is a real, to make it look really nice, it's a, it's a flowing curve. It's these big whiskers. He's got these big, big whiskers. And so um, let's do the S curve again. We'll start at the bottom. And just kind of see where we're going. And just go whoop, like that. Yeah, sure, Mike, just like that. All right, now I'm going to, now just draw one line, because, and I, at the bottom of the circle. Because now at the top of the circle, I want you to start at this height, you know, like that thickness is the ball. But as we get about halfway and closer to the bottom, by the time we get to the tip, it's all gonna be like one line. So we're gonna come over. This is what we like to call thick and thin. So see how I'm getting closer and closer and closer and then merging traffic and there I am. If only I-4 was that. <laughs> All right. Now here's the fun part. You get to do it again on the other side. So starting in the imaginary world, because you can't see it, it's back here behind the nose. Kind of start in, you know, somewhere in the nose, and then go out, around, and up. There, there is an S curve if you've ever seen one like that. So I like that line. So I'm going to darken that line in a little bit. And then again, I'm going to come up and I'm going to follow it from the top part of it. And I'm going to keep getting closer. And closer. My head is closer. There I go. Merge right in. All right. Who am I? I am Mushu. And I am Michael Walker. All right. Jeff fun? Yes. Thank you. He's tough, isn't he? He's tough. Did I break him down? I hope I broke him down. He's a tough guy. All right. Here's the fun part. I want to see what you've done. I'm going to come way over here to this group. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Good. It's the Festival of the Arts. Be expressive. Be creative. As long as you're here. That's great, sir. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to flip this around to my ugly mug, and, and we're going to do 
your selfies or something. That was, that was great. That was great. Don't be shy. Don't be shy about showing your art. It's art. It's art. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great stuff. Look at this. All right, everybody get nice and high. Don't worry, left side of the room. We're going to get you too. There we go. I got to show my mom like the, the, the four years of college paid off. Yeah. That was great. I love it. All right, you guys. I didn't forget about you. Look at that. I like how, look, you drew lightly. You drew very lightly. I can almost see. There you go. Oh, that's very good. Great, great. Nice. Expressive. Expressive. It's okay to be expressive. That's going on for you. I can tell. You did very good. Very good. What we got? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Big smile, everybody. All right. Cool. Hey, again, thank you very much for coming. Enjoy tonight. Tonight we have Disney on Broadway on this very stage. By the way, I didn't tell you, um, I'm pretty lucky because when they called me, they said, hey, you're going to be at the American Garden Theater. I'm like, wait, where the Broadway stuff is? They go, yeah. I said, well, I designed this set. So I work for live entertainment, so I just did art on my art, and that's pretty fun. So dreams do come true, right? All right. Hey, thank you all very much. Have a great festival. Take care. Friends. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the Animation Academy. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts.